Hello everybody, Ian Robson here for The Fishing Experiment. Today we're going to do another unboxing of our mystery tackle box. This month I changed it up. And this is the Walleye Mystery Tackle Box. So uh, if you're not familiar with Mystery Tackle Box, basically what it is is a monthly subscription service. You get random lures, you get to test them out. lets you try out some new stuff you've never tried before. Anyways, let's get into the box. So first things first, you have your bait card, or they call it about your box. I think bait card's from Lucky Taco Box. Uh, Dibble Digest on the top. Dibble Digest is used on the bottom. I think I've already opened this one. Uh, all right, so first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy right here. So this is a Lucky Craft USA jerk bait. This is something you often associate with uh, bass fishing, not necessarily walleye. Uh, but there is, a, it seems like there is a bit of a movement for people to go and use big jerk baits uh, for walleye. Looks clear, it's got a couple rattles in it. Let's see if I can hear that. Ooh, a couple nice rattles, nice. Sharp hooks, I think they're, they might be mustad. This is Lucky Craft and they do some pretty good stuff. Um, I believe, I don't know where these are made. This is a chartreuse shad is the color. See if I can show it to you guys here. Chartreuse chat. Sh Chartreuse chat. Shad. There we go. Holy smokes. Uh, that's the color. It's got like a purplish line on the top. Kind of looks a bit like a bluegill. Uh, this one goes 8 to 10 feet, I believe is what it's rated at. Uh, deep diving minnow, 6 to 8. Suspending at 6 to 8 feet. Yeah, there you go. Very nice. Excellent. All right, next thing is uh, they've given us some Mustad Super Death Big Bait Soft Plastic Size 1 hooks. There you go. Pretty nice. Never use those style of hooks. Let's open them up and see what they're like because I'm kind of curious now. Uh, looks like they're all really odd. I guess the idea behind these hooks, you can see that or not. So not your typical style of hook, that's for sure. I guess the idea behind these hooks is to give your uh, plastic a lot of action. Um, kind of a different style, I've never seen that. So that's supposed to be good for walleye as well. That's why they've given it to us. Uh, so that suspending jerk bait could easily catch it where I am. I could catch musky, pike, bass, and apparently walleye. Uh, I don't know how many walleye there are around me. Uh, I think you'd have to go a little bit further north than that. Uh, this is a, so the last one was the, where is it, Super Death Hook by Mustad, 10 pack. And then this one is an Impulse Supercharged Reactionary Bait. So this one is, uh, the tail on the scented bait is designed to kick and swim like a real leech. And the flat torso adds extra movement while swimming. So let's go ahead and take this out of the package. Um, another like inline spinner-esque type of lure if we can't open that up without hurting ourselves. There we go. So here we go. Inline spinner style. So there's your leech right there. And while I have been known to go after leeches, comes with its own leader, which is kind of nice. I may have to, uh, I don't know how long that is. That's pretty long, actually. It's all tangled up right now. But, uh, Comes with a little bait fish spinner on there, which is kind of neat. There you go. Kind of cool. Got a couple eggs on there, it looks like. What this smells like? Hmm. Smells like not very, not very pleasant, to be honest with you. Okay, that's kind of neat. I've never used something like that before. That's one of the reasons why I really like Mr. Taco Box, because you gotta try things like, like this, like that you've never tried before. And that's what makes uh, Mr. Taco Box kind of cool because you get these types of things that you would never buy. Like this jerk bait right here is a $16 jerk bait. I would never buy that myself probably. Um, just because the way I am, I guess. All right, next thing on the list is Curly Tail Grub by Big Bite Baits. Pro Series designed to bring the big bite. Fortified with bite juice apparently. So I think I have some of these, this uh, color already. What, does it say what color it is? 
Uh, no. It's kind of like a brown color. Looks pretty good. You can basically catch anything on this color, really. Uh, anything from panfish to probably small bass, I imagine. Made in the USA, which is pretty neat as well. Excellent. All right, let's see what the next thing in here is. Next thing is, uh, what's it called here? Baby Jerky J is what they call it on the bait on the actual uh, about your box. So. Baby Jerky J, 3.5 inch. There you go. So kind of like a Berkeley Gulp sort of a style. Smell like a bit like they don't smell like much actually. They smell like mostly like plastic. Um, lots of action there though, as you can see. Um, so I guess the idea is to hook it through. Use the uh, you used to use the Mustad hooks with these and other soft plastics to get some crazy action out of them. Um, which is kind of neat actually, so very cool. So again, that was the Baby, Bur Baby Jerky J by Castic. Uh, this one was the Impulse Rigged Jumbo Leech. Next one was the Lucky Craft Stazy uh, 8 to 10 feet jerk bait in Chartreuse Shad. And last but not least was these Mustad Super Death Hooks. I've never even heard that name before. Super Death Hooks. Pretty cool. May have to try and do a, a walleye slam on that maybe. Uh, I may catch something else on those, some of those things though. Um, we'll see what happens. So there you go. That's the Mr. Tackle Box for this month. Got the sticker in there. And of course the scratch sticker. I think I've already scratched this. Yeah. I definitely scratched that one already. Didn't win, unfortunately, so it's a bit of a shame. So basically, I guess on this scenario, like some of these lures, I'm just going to think out loud here. Uh, so for example, this suspending jerk bait, 8 to 10 feet, I guess if you're going to use it, uh, obviously don't use it around weeds. You could probably do it on, on the edge of a weed line. Uh, a lot, I have a lot of weeds around my area, and I have a lot of, uh, uh, there aren't too many open areas, so something like that might be a di bit difficult to use. It might be a bit easier to use these Mustad hooks with some of the uh, soft plastics in some of the open areas. And this inline spinner, very curious about this one. Hand rigged, apparently. Oh, didn't even see that. Assembled in Guatemala. So there you go. You can basically catch almost anything on those. Um, but I think some of them, you have to be a bit careful depending where you are. Um, but I think they'll, they'll definitely all catch fish. We'll see about doing a walleye slam on those. Uh, at least try to do one. Uh, experiment with them and see what we catch at least. Anyways, uh, that'll be it for me for today. Uh, my name is Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of Mr. Tackle Box. That was the walleye box for, uh, what are we, June, May, I guess it would have been. I always get my box really late in the month, so. Anyways, for May, my name is Ian Robson once again. If you, if you like what you saw, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more unboxings. I'll do an unboxing every month uh, of a Mr. Tackle Box, and uh, we'll try and get some other videos in there as well. Anyways, my name is Ian Robson. Catch you guys later.